Hello, my fellow witches, sorcerers, and other magical practitioners. My name is Aiden. Happy Valpurgis Knot. So today we're going to be talking about how you can celebrate Valpurgis Knot if you're in the broom closet. So first of all, what is Valpurgis Knot? Well, Valpurgis Knot is a German holiday celebrated on thirty first, the thirtieth, thirty first, thirty first of April. I knew that. <laughs> Celebrated on the 31st of April, and it is right before Beltane. Um, it celebrates St. Valpurgia, who is prayed to, to to ward off demons, witches, and all sorts of creatures of the night. However, witches celebrate it um, with dark sabbats, and feasting, and all sorts of debauchery, and all sorts of just wonderful things. Now, celebrating it in the broom closet is a little bit harder than any of the other Sabbaths, I feel. As it's a little bit more of a darker Sabbath, um, I would say. Like, traditionally, like the things that are associated with it, you can read in the Faust myth. Um, some things that are associated with it. But it's very devil lore focused. So, like, it focuses a lot on the lore of the devil and which is in that current. So what can you do? Well, you can light black candles. Black would be a good color for this Sabbath, in my opinion. Uh, it's a good time to start working with liminal forces. So the world between the living and the dead is very thin at this time um, as well. So it's a good time to work with the spirits of the dead. And you can do that simply by setting up a vigil candle and praying to the spirits of the dead, the wandering dead, passing by. You can light some incense if you can um, to add into that atmospheric perspective. Um, you can also take a walk in the woods and meditate in the woods if you have access to a forest. It's a very night-based thing, so doing things at night is a good idea. In terms of spell work that you can do, it's good for kind of more covert spell work and more baneful workings. Um, though it can be used for anything. You can also, it's a good time for like prayer and initiation. If you feel like reaching out to a deity at this time, especially one that's more chthonic, um, it would be a good idea to start reaching out to them at this point in time. And you can do that simply through prayer. And you can also... It's also a good time to attempt astral projection or flying to Sabbath. Obviously, if you're in a bloom closet, you might not have access to certain herbs that will help you fly. But flying to Sabbath can be done through meditative practices and you can try that out especially at night to try flying out of your body into the actual Sabbath. That's the thing that's traditionally associated with this holiday um, but overall it is a wonderful holiday um, not too much you can do in the broom closet unfortunately for this one but it is a good one to celebrate and I really like this holiday I will definitely be doing some things for this holiday um, that are not mentioned in this video. Um, do be careful and be safe as always because this holiday is more darker, it has some darker themes to it. So if you do get into that lore and work with that kind of energy, then just be safe. But I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.